Good morning, guys. Um, welcome back to Gary's Movie Emporium. I'd like to uh, shout out that I added a few subscribers, and I'd like to thank those new subscribers uh, a whole lot for being interested on my channel. Um, this video I'm doing is uh, a video that's one half Big Lots and another half movies I traded uh, another channel user for. Um, I'm going to start out with the trade I did with James. I'd like to thank him for uh, having a lot of the titles that I wasn't able to find in my stores. Um, I'd like to give him a, a big thank you and uh, a fist bump for finding some stuff that uh, I wasn't able to find. But first up I have a Blu-ray and it uh, stars um, Brett, Brett Dalton. Angela Johnson Reyes, Neil Flynn, Shawn Michaels, and D.B. Sweeney from The Cutting Edge. He also played in uh, Fire in the Sky. And this is Dove Approved. This is a Blu-ray DVD digital uh, combo pack kind of thing. And then I found this as a extra when I went back couple days ago and I, it was like my wife said just go ahead and get it again you never know somebody in the community wants uh, another copy but this is that and it says the digital code in it too I'll probably give that a is in I'm, I'm probably will give that code away in another uh, video that I do um, next up is the, I believe it's a home, home invasion film from Magnet Releasing, Tiger House. I always wanted this. I haven't ever seen it. It has very limited special features, but it stars Kaya Scottolario, Ed Scrain, and Doug Gray Scott. Some kind of unique names there. <laughs> and then next up, had to have this. I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. To me, he's the singer of all singers. He was a great artist. I know his life is very uh, controversial and only he knows what went on in his life and anyone that, you know, says that he molested children, you know, I mean, that's not for us to decide. He was never, he was never found guilty of it and I just feel like his legacy has always been tarnished because we don't, you know, no one knows the truth of what went on. He's a very tortured artist. Uh, it includes over 90 minutes of additional interviews with Catherine Jackson. Tito Jackson, Rebbie Jackson, Smokey Robinson, Michael Jackson's biographer, ja, Randy Herborelli, and many more. And this has nearly three hours, and I, I saw James had this, and I was like, yeah, I have to add this, because I'd like to have an autograph someday by a, a Jackson family member, or, or, you know, somebody close to the Jacksons. big fan of Michael Jackson. I know it's shocking. I like metal and you know that type of different music. I even, you know, I like some slow slow burn kind of music, but Michael Jackson, I, you know, you know he was like a hero to me growing up. And then um, Army of Frankensteins it says the north, the south, and the undead. Horror community would be happy I got this one. This is a Scream Factory too, by the way. So, I was pretty damn lucky to <laughs> get this in a trade. And then another creature feature. It's, uh, this is a Echo Bridge DVD 4 movie pack. 
uh, has the snow creature on the front cover. Really happy to get this too. It has Curse of the Wolf, Blood Predator, Chupacabra vs. the Alamo, and the She Beast. Uh, all, the running time on average is about an hour and a half for all of these. All but um, Curse of the Wolf, it, that's about an hour and five minutes. I didn't even know I had a werewolf movie on here. Happy about that. It's right here, Curse of the Wolf. There's the spine. Even has a pretty neat looking spine too. Now next up, um, it says Welcome to Hell Week. Pledges. It has that cover that looks like oh, almost all cheerleaders die. It almost looks like it's like a spin-off of that movie. Or look at you know like an un unintentional sequel with a cover being a cheerleader in the front. Uh, this is an Echo Bridge. This is a 77 minute movie. Really short. But I seen this and I was like yeah I have to grab that one too. And then I got another Echo Bridge but this has a slip cover. It's Toxic Shark. And this has two bonus movies, Beneath the Mississippi Croc and Croxzilla. 292 minute running time on this disc. Never get this cover back on here. And that's Toxic Shark. I like these slip covers for these uh, cheaper Echo Bridge titles. And then I got the final one from James. I got Ghoulies 4 and Howling 4. I have Howling 1 through 6. I had to send away to um, Denmark. It took me two months to get it. Um, I'm sure this transfer is probably as good, if not better, than that release, but. I got it mostly for Ghoulies 4 because I'd like to have all of the Ghoulies films. This is one of the weaker in the series, but um, if I ever see 1, 2, and 3 together, or 1, one and 2 together, and then a single, like, part 3, I'll, I'll have all of them. But I got it for Ghoulies 4, and this is an Echo Bridge. <clears throat> the first movie, well, not first movie, the first Ghoulies 4 is 83 minutes and Howling 4 is 94 minutes. And this isn't part of the trade. I thought I'd add it in because I have a lot of I did a lot of horror ones just now, so I got this on eBay. Um, this stars Tony Todd and Tracy Scoggins. It's called the Strange Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I love the cover art for this. I seen that and I was like, yeah, I have to have that one. And Kenny almost looks like Leprechaun on that. I don't know how much Tony Todd is in this. It says, uh, Tony Todd delivers an incredible performance according to FearsMag.com. It has a making of a featurette, trailer, and television spots. This is an image entertainment DVD release, and it's presented in one one by seven seventy eight by one theatrical aspect ratio. But didn't say that's from Image Entertainment. So if you're interested in that title, um, and now I'm going to be doing the big lots. Hall. First up I have here, my wife wanted to go to Big Lots because she likes steel books. So we uh, we were going through the rack and I seen this glare out of the corner of my eye and I said, my wife, I go, 
That looks like a steel book right there. So I grabbed it and I go, yep, it's a steel book. It's a despicable me. Special edition Blu-ray DVD digital. Only got this for five bucks. It says it includes three mini movies, Orientation Day, Home Makeover, and Banana. And it has a ton of additional features. And like I said, it has a digital code. Maybe at some point uh, we get this cracked open, we can give the uh, code away to some uh, subscriber. I don't know, might, might even just be random, because I haven't had a lot of luck with the contest so far, but we'll see. It says it's an all-around winner. I do like this first movie, and I like the second one too, but like it, you can kind of tell the quality in each sequel is getting a little worse. Like in terms of the storyline. <clears throat> and that's that. And then, I had to have this. I don't know much about this. This is a dual movie pack. Um, I've heard of it. Uh, it says, Own, Own These Moments. And it's uh, Night Watch, Day Watch. So in 20th Century Fox, Night Watch is the original, and yeah, Night Watch is the original, and it says Day Watch is a thrilling sequel to Night Watch. Quite long movies, both of them. Um, Night Watch runs at nearly two hours, and Day Watch runs at almost two and a half hours. These are presented in widescreen format. And a kid's, uh, next up a kid's title. This has a Blu-ray DVD combo. Um, we, weren't, we weren't sure if we had this, but home. I think his name's James, uh, James Parsons, who plays in um, Big Bang Theory, does the voice of this uh, purple creature here, the alien. I think the singer, um, I'm not up to date on a lot of the younger singers now, but um, she played, she also played in Battleship. The voice of the actor who played her, I, I can't remember. Huh. Well, you're on a blank. And there's the back. Next up, I wanted this. I, I, I know it gets like deadpan lambasted by critics, but I wanted, wanted this hop. says, from the creators of Despicable Me, hilarious for the entire family, according to Pat Collins. And she is at Box 5, I think it says. An all-new mini-movie exclusive, not seen in theaters. It has a slew of uh, Blu-ray extras. It's declared a fun, fun, fun movie by Pete Hammond of Box Office uh, Magazine. Oh, I always love this movie. I know people don't like it, but next up I got a couple more Woody Woodpecker titles. I'll do them in the order I I want to present them in here. Okay, um, first up is Woody Woodpecker uh, 20 cartoons. They're di they've been digitally remastered. Uh, this has a, a slew of bonus features, two episodes from the Woody Woodpecker show. Episode number 53 and episode number 56. And it tells what the episodes are in parentheses. I'd rather not read that for you. Uh, this has uh, two and a half hours nearly of uh, cartoons. So, I mean, it's worth the five bucks. Plus, it's Woody Woodpecker, so I'm going to be in my collection. <laughs> 
Um, and here's another Woody Woodpecker movie. Woody Woodpecker and Friends, holiday favorites. It has theatrical shorts, Ski for Two, I'm Cold, Toyland Premiere, Jolly Little Elves, Candyland, plus two feet full-length holiday TV episodes. Hour and 23 minutes, so between these two I've got almost four hours of uh, Woody Woodpecker. And that's coupled with uh, the one I had prior, the Woody Woodpecker movie that was uh, live action mixed with CGI. So I have three of his now. It says seven hit holiday cartoons featuring Woody Woodpecker and his friends. Only a couple more here, guys. Um, then I got Battleship. And this comes complete with a glow-in-the-dark slipcover. One of the big box up near where I live had this, but I was a no-go for me because back here, back here was all ripped. It was ripped from here, say, down to here. And that was a no-go. I didn't want to rip the slipcover. I'm not big on slip covers like some people, but if I'm going to get a slip cover that's going to glow in the dark, I want it to be intact. Um, this movie has bonus features, preparing for battle, all hands on deck, the cast, engage in battle, shooting at sea, and all aboard the fleet. And this is a universal release. A big, bold blast. I had fun with this movie. I've seen this at the drive-in. Probably... Now, five, six years ago, I think. And, oh, I just, it just felt like classic drive-in cinema lore, you know, because it was like aliens running amok in, on Earth. And, I don't know, this is, movies like this are what make the drive-in, to me, the best experience going. Because, like, our drive-ins tend to play a lot of them, well, until COVID-19 started taking place, but... Before that, they played way too much mainstream stuff, like a lot of the big hit movies, and like I had fun with these like old uh, cheesy popcorn kind of films. At the, like those were my best weeks when we'd go. The the ones they played right before COVID nineteen, they were like catering to the kids and catering to the you know basically the popular movie and. The weeks that they play stuff that wasn't popular, that was my favorite week. I was always in the minority when it come to, like, if a horror film come to the drive-in, I was like, that's my favorite week, you know, uh, or sci-fi, something, something like that of that nature. But when this came to the drive-in, I really had fun with it. She, uh, the actress who played in here, uh, also um, played in uh, that movie Home. Rihanna. Rihanna. It was Rihanna. Like I said, I, I'm i not good at, you know, saying the names of singers too much unless it's somebody I grew up with. But this stars uh, Taylor Kitsch, Rihanna, Alexander Skarsgård, Brooklyn Decker, and Liam Neeson. <laughs> Believe it or not, Liam Neeson was in this. I like that it has a slip cover, though. And then I got another one with a slip. I seen Mary Ann had it on her uh, channel. That's she said it was at the Dollar Tree, but I, I don't know. I I have never seen that one at my Dollar Tree, but I found this one at a Big Lots. Practically the same. Well, well, it's the same, but. But this, unlike this, this has like a shiny, kind of like a Star Wars shine to it. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, see it? Yeah, right there. It has like a Star like a Star Wars cover, like the slip sleeve that they have for their new Star Wars releases. That's what this is like. It's like a, it feels like a film strip or something. Uh, and this is a Louis Koo La... Lam Kang Tong, 
Wu Yu and Chris Collins, and a special appearance by Tony Ja from the director of the IP Man trilogy. And this is Paradox. Um, this is a Logo USA Entertainment movie, and it's available in Cantonese and English. The running time is 100 minutes. Uh, it has Eng English subtitles and Chinese subtitles. It has a lot of film companies in conjunction to, to make this film possible. It has bonus features, a making of, a trailer, and English language available. It's the most brutal ser chapter in this SPL series. And there's the spine. But that concludes my haul. And I got one more package that I got to show in the next day or two. Uh, if I don't get at it tomorrow, I'm definitely going to do it soon. Um, but I'd like to thank any new subscribers. I'd like to thank James for uh, trading with me and giving up some titles that, you know, he probably didn't want to trade, but he wanted other things, and that's the way I was with it, too. And i just like to thank everybody that made that possible, you know. Like, I don't know, he might have had to trade with this person to get, you know, what he wanted to get. Because I know he said he had, like, six trades going. <laughs> And it was kind of driving them nuts, but but uh, if that's what we gotta do to help each other in the community with this these hunts and whatever, that that's you know more power to us. So you all stay safe, uh, and I'd like to kind of dedicate the video too to the horror community because there's some horror titles in there. I'm sure they'd be happy that I got. And, uh, just like everybody, stay safe and. Uh, Till next time, and I'll be seeing you again. Bye.